First and foremost, as leaders from the region, we want to pass our condolences to Kenyans who were killed and to those who are injured, we wish them quick recovery. Uh, it's an unfortunate incident, it should not have happened. Nevertheless, it happened and so we pay our condolences to those who lost their dear uh, family members. However, yesterday, Kenyans were shocked to hear sentiments attributed to His Excellency the Deputy President, Egade Gachagua. And, in particular, attacking senior civil servants or public servants who ordinarily report to the offices. Remember, the Deputy President is a member of the National Security Advisory Council. He sits in that uh, uh, committee. And therefore, he will be privy to a lot of briefings. Unfortunately, instead of taking his concerns to that committee so that it can be addressed, he chose to address senior public officers who ordinarily will not be discussed in public. That is unfortunate. That means it demeans the office of the presidency. It's unfortunate that offices of the likes of the Director General of NIS can be discussed in the public, not by simple individuals, but again by the number two in this country. That is not good. We, the leadership from the region, have no issue whatsoever with other communities. Ours is a problem with the deputy president in person. And I'm sure many Kenyans and many leaders from other regions including his own region, are not happy with what he has done. And therefore, ours is to call on the Deputy President to either work directly with the government and become the Deputy President that people know, or to ship out.